Do you know anybody? Ah! Pers- Did you ever know anybody personally named Archibald? No, I knew a guy named Brad once. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. I'm Corbin. I'm Brad. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for juicy content. Thank you to Interview Sports on Patreon. Follow us on account. Subscribe to like button. Do I have crap on my teeth? Any spinach feta cheese wrap? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> welcome back. Uh, today we're doing a movie review of the uh, new 2023 Netflix movie, uh, The Archies. Uh, the new... Film by our Dost. Yes. We can say that now. We can say that now. Uh, Zoya Akhtar. Uh, written and directed by her. And also some dialogue by Farhan. And her uh, writing partner is... Uh, Ayesha Devitri. Is that, is that I believe that? she always writes it. <coughs> and if, two more. It's if, a collaborative if, team, apparently. If that's... I forget who the, her... She always has a writing partner. Yeah. Um, regardless. And then um, starring uh, a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of nepos. A lot of, lot of, <laughs> yeah, a lot of, lot of newcomers. Uh, anyways, but obviously uh, it just came out, uh, so we're going to do uh, first non-spoilers, mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, we will get into spoilers, but we will tell you before we do that, it's on Netflix if you'd like to go watch it uh, before you see anything, uh, if you want to go watch that and come back. But the first will be non-spoilers. Rick, you want to do official? Your official Non-spoiler thoughts. Non-spoiler thoughts. So, right out the gate, the first thought is, it, is it a must-see? Is it a see-it? Is it a skip-it? Is it a avoided at all costs? It's definitely not an avoided at all costs. But for me, mm-hmm. it was definitely a... I, I, it's, not one of, it's not something I'm going to be telling people, hey, you should go watch it. Um, it, it, it for me, is a, it's a... You can skip it, I'm sorry to say. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some good things I want to say about it, and there's a lot of things about it that I'll say that would be critical of some aspects of it that I was expecting a lot more from it. But um, we'll get into all of that. Yeah. But the ultimate takeaway from it is uh, I, it's, I wish I could say it's something that you should see, but I don't think you miss anything if you don't. Other than if you're very interested in wanting to see how the kids do – because for for kids that have never done anything before, and especially some of them, we'll talk about them in a second, who come from some pretty big big names in the industry, there are some things I found charming about a couple of people that I'll talk about in a second. But other than that, it 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 didn't meet my expectations. Gotcha. Um, I thought this, and it might be similar. I thought it was fine, which is the, what I came away with. A little yeah, bit. that was well. Did your that, wife watch it with you? Yes. Okay, she, because I'm interested in her input because she knows the Archies. She liked it more than I did. Okay. Then, uh, then, was it because it was more... Because there was a lot of references. That makes me happy. And so, like... Um, that makes me happy. She... she Because I don't have that reference point. Yeah, me either. Uh, she um, could tell all the characters and what they were trying to do from each of the... Uh, obviously, they're they're very famous characters from the comics and stuff like that, and, and the relationships, that, yeah, relationships where they went, um, like the relationships between Veronica and her, and, right, and, and, and Betty Archie and Archie, and, and, and their Jughead. love triangles and and all that kind of stuff, and stuff that they called them, like it was a big thing that she called uh, whoever called Archie Arch. Uh, Archibald or, or no Archikins. Uh, mm. that was a big thing she was like I wonder who's so, gonna call so like there was unsurprisingly a... they did justice to the I'm comic I'm guessing okay. um, and she still had some like uh, she probably wished it was a little better in terms of certain things yeah. but um, she, I think she liked it more than I did uh, but because I she was giggling every so often because something that makes me happy screen. that makes me happy to know that somebody who's familiar with the material would appreciate it because yes. we don't yeah we have don't, that we don't have that point. reference point um so which is one of the reasons why it might be more of a of, of a fine than uh anything else there's uh, we'll talk about a bunch but um i got into it actually surprisingly more as it went along like even like an hour and a half into it i got more into it after the hour and a half me too um and so i guess that's a good thing um yeah the, I, so a the, good thing is that to, while i was watching it because there's been movies we've watched yeah. and i'm just checking the runtime looking at my watch going, when's this yeah, gonna yeah, end yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never got to that yeah. place and it's like uh, hour and a half was going on, i'm like okay 
not what I was wanting. Right. But then I did get more into it post, I think, an hour and a half, which is not I'm something that you. normally happens. And so right. that that that's good. That's why I think I came away with a, a, yeah, a fine it felt, grade. Yeah, it felt like using that, what you're describing, it almost felt like uh, a, a ton of runtime could have been cut yeah. to, to, to get to that salient well, I think point they point in the storytelling without giving away any spo- spoilers. I think they were trying to build the characters and show them from the comics and their relationships, and they were trying to put a lot in, uh, put a lot in that via. And I think it was actually shot a lot like a comic. So, like, as opposed to like more flowy scenes, they'd have a scene, and then like in the, in a comic book, you'd have the next scene in a completely different setting mm. because it would. I think yeah. she was trying to do something like that, which is, I think, maybe some, one of the reasons why the beginnings kind of jumped all over, jumping all over the place. Agreed. It agreed. also felt, and I know you haven't seen it, it felt like it was for a younger audience. Um, agreed. Uh, like the writing of it and and everything. Maybe that if you haven't seen a Wednesday, the the Netflix. I know you haven't. I have. We have. Okay. We've seen about five episodes that, of a Wednesday. I we got through a Wednesday. But there's a bunch of issues I had with the Wednesday outside of Jenna Ortega. Well, that's I why we... L- I loved Jenna Ortega. Me too. It's why we stopped watching. Yeah. It felt it like didn't they were going for a very young audience. Agreed. Um, and I think they're doing that I here for sure. I felt like I mean, that was a Netflix thing. This is a Netflix thing. Yep. So maybe they that's were a target. told to go for a teen, young 20s <laughs> audience, which is weird. Because it's a comic that is for a much it's older more adult. generation. Maybe they were that's like, what my understanding. But maybe they wanted a younger generation. And because we, Zoya told us this, that the trailer gave us the feels, and I asked her. I said it felt like this is really going to harken us back to the kinds of things that this that, that are of this era: grease, hairspray, There's a lot of that. And she said. Absolutely. So my two favorite takeaways, because that's the thing is accentuating the positives in the front part about if there's anything I think you're going to like about it. Yeah. My two favorite things that I thought were excellent were the production design. Oh, what a surprise. Man, that, it could be a dummy's Pro- nod. Honestly. Yeah. Production design on this is is top notch, everybody. Like the um, world building. That yeah. You, you can impeccable you, that a lot of times because I wasn't deeply connecting to a lot of things story and character wise. Yeah. I was just reveling in how good. And the attention to detail was on little things that you might not notice, but just certain things that they pay attention to where the door is open to the bookstore and they have the open sign on the bookstore, but they don't want it to glare and they want it to be seen in frame. So they made sure the open sign was facing more in off the door. Little details and the not just that, but the period, making sure it was the era that it's in. And I thought the majority of the songs, yeah. I was tapping my foot. Yeah, and the majority of the songs were wonderful to listen to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I, if you if you're not a musical theater person, you wouldn't probably catch all the references in the song. Yeah, like there's a direct, almost a remake of a very famous Chicago song, um, which was it was it. I thought, is this a tip of the cap or is this a straight out? Well, it's not a remake because it's not the exact no, thing, but, but it, it's a clear. It's very. It's clear because obviously the situation and it, it's. They wanted to make a song that was obviously. Um, it started the exact same way. If you haven't seen Chicago, please go watch Chicago. Yeah, please go watch this song. It's a. It's called. I think it's called. She had. He had it coming. Is it? What yeah. It was called. It, uh, um, it's great. Yeah, it begins with he sounds and yeah. It's a he great, it great. Coming. It's a great one. But and yeah, I immediately thought of that. A couple beginning. other songs also had. References to older um, um, musical numbers from Hollywood. Yeah. Um, and it also was, it had a very Western feel to it. But it also had the Bollywood, we don't give a crap if you hear sounds and the hands don't match the instruments. Thanks yeah. very much. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed those, like the set design. Production design was impeccable. Impeccable. Probably the most in, impressive thing about the entire thing. Agree. Uh, the songs I, I thought were really fun. Uh, and I even Costuming a did a really songs. nice job. Costuming. The world building was yeah. incredible. Yeah. And uh, I thought a lot of the actors did well. I don't think anybody did amazing. No. Um, but I, I thought I have they, two favorites. Uh, and I say favorites not as in I felt like there was anything that was revelatory for yeah. me. What I in, the I really enjoyed, and and part of this is because of what I see in their faces, and because they did they did well enough that the weight I'm sure they're carrying, being the kids of the people that I mean, we're naming 
this is Shah Rukh Khan, mm-hmm. Sri Devi, mm-hmm. the grandson of Amitabh Bakchan. I mean, guys. Yeah. Um, the yes, there is a level of of privilege they receive. There's also a level of expectation and weight and shadow that no one else understands but those kids, um, and the legacy that they're expected to live up to that newcomers. No one else has that except a, a kid of a superstar. Um, I, I just really liked watching um, the two girls, watching uh, uh, Sahana, Betty. yeah, Sahana, and um, um, Kushi. Kushi. The Shri yeah, because like in Kushi, I saw so much of what we love about Sri Devi in her eyes. Yeah, and I saw so much of in I saw so much of, of Shah Rukh Khan in Sahana, and. I loved watching them working together and I thought it must feel really it must be really neat for their families to to see the kids doing this and for everybody who's grown up with Sri Devi and Shah Rukh Khan I I for me with the little exposure we've had I really enjoyed it and I felt that they so much of the acting you will see and it's not just because Zoya told us this but you're going to see, not just from the kids, but from the adults, you're going to see a lot of people hitting their marks, not moving their arms yeah, yeah, because yeah. they were told to be still. Yeah. Uh, there's there's just a lot of things that are done because yeah. they're... In but fact, I, I, I feel like the supporting cast was worse than, I agree. than a lot of the, I thought, the main cast. I thought the kids were the best. Yeah. The kids were the best. And I said to Ivani, though... Yeah, go ahead. I said one last thought on, on the acting, and we can get into whatever else you want to do. But I said, watching the girls in particular... You don't, you can't, they're just starting out. So it's like looking in the garden and seeing your your new planted rosebuds that have just started to bloom. You get excited about the fact yeah. that there's so much potential there, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can't measure it by a fully blossomed rose. And that's how I feel about the girls in particular. I yeah. felt like there is greatness in the bud right yeah. there and, and they're just beginning. I'm yeah. excited for them. Yeah, I like them too. I also liked, I can't, I don't know his name, but he's the, the, the little smart, um, kid who um, I think th- Reggie? The, the Reggie character? The gay character uh, The little kid he, like, he had glasses he, Thank you Oh yeah, 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 yeah I liked him a lot I liked his and I asked Steph I was like was he uh, supposed to be gay in the um, comic and she said no he's, he's more just they never alluded to it in the comic it was just more he was a really smart character Got it uh, but I liked him as well but I, I liked the girls uh, of the kids they were probably the best, but they also had the most screen time uh, and probably the most to do. Yeah, as well. they did. Um, I, and I don't know if the supporting cast was either bad or is just badly written. Uh, it could be both. Um, could be both. But it, I, I found the writing to be pretty. Yeah, it was hard to was, deal with. It's something that oh, when I alluded to, it, maybe it was dealt for a younger audience because it was all very. I guess, for lack of a better term, surface level. Yeah, um, it was like as as were as good as the songs yeah. were. Yeah. I felt like not just the songs, but for com- making comparisons, which Zoya herself s- felt she was wanting to get the template from, of things like Hairspray, yeah. of things like Grease, even the most co- recent musicals of things like the remake of West Side Story. Yeah. Uh, Barbie's a musical, technically. Um, the, th- it was missing the verve and the energy and the testosterone and the hormones and the the just for lack of a better term in every way both in the choreography and the musical numbers but also in the way everybody interacted i felt like there was a a, i don't know if this is conveyed in the archie comics but everybody seemed to be completely reserved and prim and proper compared to what you typically get from this type of musical where all of the energy become and having musical numbers that are so show stopping every one of those things we just referenced has a showstopper or two where you hear that song again and you want to see that number again because it had a showstopper this didn't this didn't have well, a showstopper for me the, yeah i don't know if it had a showstopper but va va actually has been in my head the past few days <laughs> like i've just been repeating oh, va, va, va. just because the head. songs are good the songs are good the songs are and good i think that my my favorite number like visually was probably the um the, the she had a skating number me too I, I i enjoyed that one a lot me too it was, um, it was really original but uh yeah the the va 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 was just i've been for no, some reason just in really, my head like, va, really va, 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 catchy really good uh, va, 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 which was uh a good and they're they are playing a real section of indian that has not been portrayed the anglo right indians right i don't know anything about them Right. So if you're an Anglo Indian, you can tell us if like what they portrayed was accurate 
I because I can't for the life of me. Yeah. This almost seemed fantasy land. Uh, and maybe it obviously partly was. It was yeah. partly like Anglo Indians and kind of a, a fantasy Riverdale of, of from the comics, obviously. Right, right. Um, and so mm, you guys can let us know because it's just like it's like accents, Indian accents. I I really can't tell. Yeah. Um, so you, that, that would be something for someone else. I think it was just for the first like hour and a half, it was like even though the production time was great and I thought the performances were, were okay, it was all very... Um, I don't know, just High School Musical, and which is fine, but also I love High School Musical. I, I want it to be a little. I, I need to care for the characters more, and, and right. until basically an hour and a half in, right? I didn't. Yeah, me too. Um, and and it, it, it wasn't like I was like fully connected an hour and a half in either. I just got more than I was. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I was about as connected uh, to it as I am most, because there's some Disney shows that I've watched, especially when the girls when Micah were growing up that I got connected to characters on. Mm -hmm. Like Sweet Life, for example, was was that Disney or Nickelodeon? Disney. Um but I felt I felt as disconnected from them as I do from a lot of those kinds of shows that I'm not really connected to. Like if that came on and I was watching it and I got a little bit interested, I never really felt really connected to them. Um and yeah. by the way, I wanted to point this out. I'm glad I'm remembering. Um the Anybody who has a problem with this being a, what they refer to, quote unquote, I've read this in some reviews, as a Bollywood launch for the kids. And Johnny and I were at a Q&A for the morning show. My re the review of it is on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It's about relationship. You need two things in the entertainment industry. Wish I had family in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to have the ability to do the craft. Yeah. You have to be able to do it well. And then you have to have the relationships. And the one thing that came off is it always does at the Q&A where we had the full cast there except for Billy Crudup and, and Mark Duplass. But Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon have wanted to do this project ever since for, for years. And they've been friends since Reese played her sister on Friends. Uh, the assistant, the character's name is, the actress is Tig who plays the assistant to, to John Hamm. People asked her, what's it like to work with John Hamm? She's known him for many, many years. And John Hamm said, it was like a Tuesday. You know me. Uh, you, you, you've got um, uh, Sherry Belafonte. One of the cast members is her goddaughter. Guys, uh, why is it that the entertainment industry is the only industry where people get yeah. mad that a family member is involved in the business? There's obviously there's something to be upset at if if people use nepotism and, it, and they're not talented. They're not talented. And, and they um, also don't realize their privilege in it uh, as well. Because obviously there is a privilege in nepotism. You get it's more than a foot in the door. You have the entire door. You have the door slammed wide open for you. Basic. And yes, do I think that if they had done a search, they could have found some people that would have blown us away Probably. in these roles? Probably, I do. I think they could have found some people that would have been so superlative that we would have all said, "Who the heck are these newcomers?" Yeah. However, yeah, they don't attract the kind of eyeballs and the conversations and the attention that. Name kids do. It's a business. I'm happy to say nobody here was blatantly awful. That made me think the only reason they're in this thing is because of a family member, and it pisses me off. I'd say that if it was the case. Except so would some, you? Except for some of the supporting characters. Yeah, uh, there were. There yeah, were. which uh, which one of the issues? I just I felt like maybe the the writing might have been the the biggest issue in this, which is so strange to say with uh, Farhan and Zoya. It is uh, writing. Um, I it, it was kind of all over the place yeah. at the front end. Yeah. Right. Um. But yeah, well, like overall, I thought it was fine. Would I watch it again? Probably not. What's funny is we didn't get into any spoilers, so yeah, it's that's fine. good. There's nothing really uh, to get into. Yeah, it's 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 what I yeah, like I said. Would I watch it again? Probably not. But um, is it? I I also think it's probably Zoya's weakest work, without question. Uh, but not not in, production not in all design. aspects. Not in all aspects. And, but as a whole, I think it is her weakest work. And and. You get points for just doing d different stuff, man, and just doing what you want to do and charting your own course, and Zoya does that. Mm -hmm. And human beings, man, no no artist is going to make great stuff every single thing they, they put out, unless you're the Beatles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, it's very, very rare to find anybody that could ever do that. So, But exactly. I, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, uh, but anyways, let us know what you thought about the Archibalds um, or the Archies. Uh, if you liked it. if Because yeah. I've, I've, I've actually heard mixed opinions all over the place. And were, they a, were the Archies a band all yeah. the time? Yeah. Because like at one point I wrote in my notes, I went, 
what happened to the band? Yeah. It's like the band was at the very beginning and at the very end and throughout the film, we didn't really see the band. Uh, well, it, it wasn't like all about the band, but they are a band. It's like I'm hearing John Belushi and the Blues Brothers. The band! Um, Great musical, by the way. Yeah, I've, I've heard a bunch of mixed stuff about this. I actually heard uh, people that absolutely despise it, think it's awful garbage. Yeah. And then I've, I've also heard people um, that really, really enjoyed it uh, as well. So I've, the opinions on this one are all over the place. Yeah. Um, so you guys let us know what you think about this film. If you liked it, if you didn't why like it. Why we're wrong. Why we're wrong, why we're right. Uh, why we are the white devils of YouTube. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> Down. I want that. <laughs> the white devils of YouTube. <laughs> Let us know down below.